Today is the very last episode of Element a Day in May, for this year anyway, and so I'm ending with a really, 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 really big one, and that is because it is the most abundant element in our universe. But in actuality, it is really the tiniest element on the periodic table, and that is because it only has one proton and one electron. Yes, hydrogen is the only element that does not have a neutron in its nucleus. Hydrogen is a gas, and true to its name, it is used to fuel our sun. And this is because in the core of the sun, it's where the process starts that provides heat and light down to us here on Earth. And this process is called nuclear fusion. And it's where quadrillions and billions and uh, more quadrillions of hydrogen atoms are all smashing and fusing into each other. And when they fuse, they create other isotopes of hydrogen, and then they release energy that goes through the sun's layers and all the way back down to us here on Earth, where lots Lots of other hydrogen can be found in all sorts of things like hydrogenated vegetable oils and our peanut butter or a really big one the compound that gives hydrogen its name and hydrates us good old h2o or water and that's a wrap on element a day in may you guys thank you so much again for watching if you haven't watched the whole playlist go back and watch them they're there on the youtube account for you to see share the completed playlist with your friends and if you are not subscribed to Everyday Science on YouTube yet, I have so many cool videos planned for this year. Please subscribe for science, and I will catch you later.